There's a safe. Right here is the pink elephant in the room. There's a safe. What's that say? Something. Oh! Hi, diddly dee, the pirate's life for me. Pirates of all ages, we are here inside of this unit. It's gonna be very exciting. Why? Because on the way up here in the elevator, one of the second floor managers says, this is an interesting story. A woman went into a nursing home and we've never heard from her again, which makes it more exciting because right here is the one specific reason I bought this unit for just about 800 after taxes. There's a safe. Anyway, let's open it and see what's inside. Right here is the pink elephant in the room. There's a safe. Hopefully there's something in it. It's very actually a little more exciting because you see her bed, you see stuff like that. I hate to say it, but she, chances are she might have passed away. But 10 to 1, I used to be a mover. When people go into a nursing home, they just take a few things with them and leave everything else. Anyway, let's get started, see what's in here. All right, first off right here, we're gonna go right to it. I didn't even notice this one. There is, I shouldn't shake that hard, huh? And I don't think I wanna just drop this. We're gonna save this to the end, because look. <laughs> Handy dandy knife. Ooh, this looks not exciting. That's kind of pretty. This? Mm -hmm. Would you like to try one? Uh, no, but we, I might what we do take is we that what we do is we eat these and we call it locker food challenge. You take it and you put it in your no. I like to dry those. Right. I'm gonna sell it to you for two bucks. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. It's like a table, see? Mm. That means they're probably glass on or something. This is a kind of cool little resin piece. It looks like a little just last minute thing. A meat. What do you think? What's that say? Jewelry boxes. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new something. I don't know. I just need something new. And I need some money to do it. Come on. Let's get to this. She had some jewelry at some point. Not in there. Bummer. It's a nice little box. What's going to be inside? An earring? A pill and an earring. I only got a few more to go through. What is this right here? Ooh. Is this a Repop or something? Because Grundig's a good brand. I don't know if that's a Repop or what, but... What? Ooh. Ooh. Jewelry Ooh. box. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, almost. Almost. What is that? A heart? A butterfly? Here's a little fake thing there. That is very... Native American little thunderbird. Ooh. I tell you this all the time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told you that. Alright. Let's go with something that maybe is exciting just because this is here. I'm always wondering why is there a little head sticking out of a bag anyway, so. I see, I'm seeing 10, 20 bucks a box, but nothing special that we're like really actually gonna make much money. It's just all stuff, you know? Like this is clothes, but it's not even hot clothes, you know? Is this the one, my love? Is this the one? Or is it gonna be more marbles? Come on. It's stuff. Mm. It's stuff. Um, let's uh, let's hold this off, and we'll bring this back to the house, maybe, and recap this, like outside. You know what I mean? Because well, we, we want to get back on the road. So we'll finish that one at home. But we definitely got something there. That is weird, because then it comes with this. We got DVDs and DVDs and DVDs and DVDs, and then we got more DVDs. So this is probably thirty bucks in DVDs. And I want to get that two safe open take those home and crack them for 
which will be at the end of this video. What? Maybe some sunglasses. We'll take a look at that here in a little bit too. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Hey. Didn't see you coming. What is this? It's that rosary type stuff, right? We got a bracelet. We got a beautiful rosary there. And then we got this one made of Italy. Mm. That's kind of cool. Wow, look at this. That's kind of cool. Wow. I say it's a good 20 bucks at Alameda. And then that's a personal photo. And there's a $5 blanket in there. This is Borsani. Is that a good brand? I have never heard of that. I know a lot of women who love purses. That one could be a good one. Here we have a Jordache. That's not really much. This is kind of cool. I can see somebody liking this one. It's a cheaper purse, but... That's a good coach. It's in great shape. Even the inside is clean. Limited edition, styled by Russ Taylor. There's only 3,000 of these made. I don't know if that makes this significantly more valuable or what, but definitely cool. What do you guys think? Ooh. Oh. Yes! Dolls are one of those items where people spend a fortune when they find them. Because look, this Camila Limited Collection. That's Camille, right? This one's kind of cool. This is a Native American doll. But in the grand scheme of things, I usually get five to ten bucks a doll. It's a vintage Barbie? No, it's, it's a Lucy. Lucy! Lucy, I'm home! Who is that? Let's see what it says here. It says 1990. Ooh, you know what that is, though? See that symbol right there? I have to take a look at that because that Shirley one could, Temple. And do you see the symbol there? That's mm -hmm. Danbury Mint. Don't forget to get a shout out to Sticks Picks over here. He's doing a couple videos on here. I got him going to the trailer to do his. Look, my love. Mm -hmm. That just became a sellable vase. I see you. Doesn't it go to the lamp? Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. It becomes a sellable lamp. See, I was just testing you really to see if you were paying attention. And the good thing is, you were. What kind of shoes did she wear? This is a unit of clickbait, huh? I guess we'll have to wait to the end to find out. Those almost looked trendy or something. Bomos made in Italy. Those are actually Those probably are a little valuable. Steve Madden. Those are so cute, the pink ones. Yeah, I can, you can dip some if you like. Ooh. Prada? A little um, damage there, but still nice though. That's a good sign because she wore quality pieces. What do we have here? Hoo Salvatore Ferragami. Bass. Sal Salvatore Ferragami. I like that. That is probably a good $40, $50 right there. And if you look at the rest of the there's an easy $100 right there in just those shoes. I imagine this could be a good one. This is an older brand. I would actually look this one up. See, it's got like the the Bakelite style buttons. This is probably a good one, two hundred bucks easily. What else do we have here? Another rabbit jacket. That looks very Burning Man-ish. Let me see. Bro, that's what I'm talking about. It fits me. I would say it's worth a few bucks. I don't know if you're going to want to dibs that. But... No, it's really pretty, but I don't have anything that'll match. So then now it's a $50 bill. This one says fragile. It's like you. Here, fragile. That might be kind of cool. Please don't be broken. Oh, that's really pretty. It is. That's got to be a little bit of money. Ooh. I'm digging that little... Little, little little gem right here. 
It's not in a typical case as if somebody passed, but it could be significant to that. But do you see the stars? Touch them. See how they're embossed? Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. All right, this is a little box of not very much, guys. Another $20, $30 and little just chalky things. Better than a sharp stick in the eye, but definitely not the goods we're looking for. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten boxes left. I'm excited for the safes. Ooh. Of course. That would have been a good $50 item, but... Guys, we got some cool stuff here. I think that radio is worth a few bucks. I got like a $50 bed frame. We got a $40 mattress. We've got a broken cabinet. We got Michael. He's worth a few bucks. Dresser set is probably $150. We might get our money back on this one. I'm not sure. But I'm going to take the two safes home and crack them at the house. And we got a box of jewelry, so we might make out on this. Anyway, let us wrap all this up, get up out of here. Thanks to my beautiful camera woman. Thanks to my beautiful son. Son, look beautiful. Thank you. That was your beautiful look? All right. I need to know what's inside. We know something's in there. <laughs> we know something is, please be the Rolex collection. And then, we got this. I can't clickbait, y'all. It's empty. That sucks. There's nothing in that thing. Want to drop it and see if there's anything in there? No, it won't matter anyway. But, we also have this bag that uh, might have something cool and it might not. I just thought it was cool because the sunglass cases. We'll check that out. Maybe the little woman can take a peek and tell us if we want to see in there. But let's get to this. Don't forget to check out Sticks Picks. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the share button. Don't forget to make sure your notifications are set to all and say some pretty like, I love gold. Now we're gonna go through it and see if we can find anything. We got some Avon. We got some fake Vaughn. We got, well, we seem to find these a lot. Like, I don't, is it silver? I found this many times, the style like that. Ooh, this is kind of neat. This is older. This is an old Timex. My love, you're not screaming, so I'm guessing nothing was good in there. Ooh, Nine West is making a comeback. We have, ooh, Cinderella. that could be good for eBay right there. That's a Cinderella, Cinderella. Bippity boppity boo. It's 62, 62K. I've never seen that gold. That looks gold right there, though. Look at that. Oh, oh yes. 14 carat. How much does that weigh, Jessica? Mm -hmm. How much we guess? You want to speculate? I have no idea. I have oh. no idea how to. You guess, and then I tell you if you're right or not. Eh. 8.4. 8.4 grams. Know. Let's see here. This looks real. What does? This. I'm going to guess 6.3. 6.6. Six, six. Oh, <laughs> good. That's not bad, though, because what's 6 times 30? I don't think that's 240 right. bucks. Um, no, but we'll test these because I had one of these not too long ago and this was gold and this wasn't the little class mm -hmm. one or whatever. Looks like the largest costume so far. At least we got one gold ring that scraps for 240 right off the bat. So that covers about a third of our expenses right there. That's pretty tight. Oscar de la Renta. That's pretty cute. Basically, anything you see in this box, guys, will end up in our auction. Is this gold? Can you double check the, the class part? Because I did have one of those already. It's going to be in the, the, the prom. You have to look close. I don't see anything. Ooh, is that gold plated or something? That's pretty sick right there. It might be costing me. It says some words in there. Probably HGE. I'll double check those here in a little bit. Coming out of here. Oh, what the? Where's the rest of this at? Look what that says. What say? Case and timed in USA by Gruen Watch Company, Wadworth, 14 karat gold. So now we have, let's see what that is. Let's see what that weighs. That's another three grams times 20 times 31. Pierre Cardin. 18 karat. Yeah, but it says HGE, doesn't it? It says something. Yeah, HGE. See how there's multiple words there? 
I kind of knew that one. I, you can you can literally see that it's not mm -hmm. gold. See, if you really look carefully, mm -hmm. gold, not gold. You could just see it. It's like a toning like that right there. Boom. You automatically see that's not gold. Cute little clash ring, like a fake one, huh? Mm-hmm. Actually has some words in there. High school. We'll look those words up a little more. But let's see here what we got. Because we've now found two pieces of gold for sure. And we definitely found some good costume. That's a trickery. See how there's no break in the metal? And that's usually one de factor to determine. Come on, baby. Daddy. Ooh. Ooh. DeMario. This could be good, especially if there's another one. I don't know that name, but hopefully there is more. And then we will have a pair. Ooh, pineapples. That's kind of cute. Look at the little green peridots. Here we have a cross. Here we have what this is definitely gold. 99% sure I can't read it, but it says something in a K. And then here's the mate to it. That looks like it might be, and you can see something there. I'm going to check these out more thoroughly. Right now, I'm just doing... This is how I do it. So I set aside. I put costume with costume. And then I come back later on with the loop and my eyes and a little bit of acid. Something, just a bunch of little... That looks like gold right there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I can't see, but I'll double check. That's like on a piece like this, that's where the, the marking is going to be is on that thing. Ooh, that is silver right there, my love. That is beautiful. And that is West Germany. I'm looking like we're just getting down to some costumey piece. Ooh, that's silver. It's kind of a cheaper piece just by the way the clasp is, but it's still nice. It's like a... Uh, pearls maybe or abalone shell all right that makes me feel a little better at least we got something out of this it's not like we're gonna we don't have to cry too much that might be gold it freaking looks like it is i can't see it it's too small what about the little shoe right there where right there oh 14 carat Yumping your host of fats, I think we just got another four and a half grams. Four grams, so booyah. That is another 120 right there, roughly. So now I've I'm almost got half my money back on just this gold pieces out of this random box that was overlooked. All right, that's kind of cool. We got a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver. I'm, ooh. I always like to be a little thorough, so I will probably check this all again at a later time. All right, this is definitely full of something. What, I don't know. It's heavy. Hopefully it's jewelry. Gold, I'm looking for gold coins though too. I want some gold coins. Mm, I see something in there. I see jewelry in there. Oh my gosh, is it really gonna be jewelry? I see jewelry. Oh, it's something. I don't know what. I guess it's just uh, whoo, hold on, hold on then. Woo! Sorry, I had to get excited. That's gold. Yeah, it looks like it. It doesn't say it, actually it's not. Oh, that is, oh yes, look, gold. Oh yeah, 14K. Costume. That's cool. It's a little snuff ring. It's very tangled. Yeah. This is a whole bunch of... I guess I'm just going to set this right here. And then we'll kind of pull that out here in a second. And then I'll come back after I get this and make a little bit of room in here. Mm, 
18 karat GE. That would have been fat. Look at that bad boy. There's some nice costume jewelry here, guys. All this stuff that is costume me for sure will make it to our auctions. Um, I can't promise the gold will. What in tarnations is that? That would have been fat if that was real. Dang, why do people wear costume like this all the time and not more real? <gasps> oh, yes. Look, guys. Look at that. 14 karat diamond tennis bracelet. Now the unit is most likely paid for. That is fat. That's anywhere from what, $500 to $1,000 bracelet. I like that because I'm making money now. There's a gold piece right there. Earrings. This piece here. I think this matches that other earring. Oh, nice. That is like a tie clip or something. It's very costumey. Ooh. 18. She loved the 18 karat HGE. Look at that fire opal looking thing. Costume. Costume. Sterling right here. Look at that beautiful sterling antique style piece right there. Ooh. Oh, I think we already looked at that. Here's a cross. Nothing. What is in here? Please be diamonds. It looks Ooh. like an aquamarine. It's a topaz. Yeah. All right, we're looking like we just got a little bit of costume here now. We're going to get some more costume. There's the watch. Oh, 14 karat. Nice. We're just going through it now at this point. We're just trying to see what we got. That is gold. Wow, that is actually really nice. Very nice. Ooh, what are you? What are you? What are you? We got a 925 Aquamarine with a little bit of a diamond, maybe. Well, that turned out to be a pretty good hit, I think. I mean, we're still going through this, but so far, I definitely got put into profit, and I'm very excited about that because I was a little discouraged. I just like, man, we got another bad one. What is that? 925. 925. Almost like that though. Oh my. Another one. And another one. Mmm. Beautiful. I don't know how it opens, but. Yep, there it is. Beautiful, guys. Another diamond bracelet. Wow, we got two diamond freaking bracelets. Damn. What do you guys think? You want to see all this stuff in the in the in the in the auction? Silver. Nine two five. That is fat though. That is fat. There we go. That is gold. That is very much so gold. So glad she left because she don't get to see that. She probably would have wanted to dibs that. Oh, it's only three grams. That's not too bad. <laughs> she loves gold, guys. She always wants to dibs it. Mm, I would double check that one. I don't know if that's aquamarine or a diamond, but that is freaking beautiful. Look at that. We got a little bending, turning, 14 karat piece right there. We got another 14 karat ring right there. Look, we got a tiny little 14 karat bracelet. That is definitely silver right there. That is pretty fat. So it's looking like we got... A fair amount of gold. I think that this unit has now paid for itself. I think we are in the profit, and I think I am happy. I think. We'll continue on. Let me see here. 
set that there for now. Pirates of freaking juice! Woo! On the way back, I was a little disappointed. I thought that was really changed. You saw, saw the safe that seemed like it was um, empty and already gone through, and then that felt like change. This I peeked in, so we I knew there might have been jewelry, but I wouldn't have expected that. But lo and behold, by the time we got here and went through it, gold and diamonds bracelets. This ring right here is 240. I think that bracelet would get over 500. Bottom line is this is well into profit. This is cool, we'll see this in the auctions, and the rest can go to the flea market. And with that being said, I think we hit a jackpot, or at least we made money, and that's what's important, how to make money online in 2022, right?